Oh wow, where, where did that come from? What's happening everybody? I'm John and today I'm taking over the PC Fun uh, channel. They've let me make a video doing my kind of fishing. And my favorite way of fishing is creek fishing, wading, small creeks. And today we're gonna hit, the, hit up this little uh, local creek. It's right on the outside of town, about 20 minutes from where I live. Can't wait to get in here and explore it. I just looked in a little bit and the creek's changed from what it used to be, but I've seen sunfish and I've seen some little bass. I haven't fished this creek in probably a year. So uh, let's go get the gear I need and uh, get some old tennis shoes on and let's get in the creek. Oh, there's fish. What have we got? Oh man, this thing's strong. Oh, red breast, okay. I've, uh, I've come down the creek just a little bit and I actually saw some bass in that first deep hole, but I couldn't get nothing to hit out of there. So, sometimes in these big comedy deep holes, you can't get them to hit. That's a fun little red breast. But uh, I'm starting out with that little uh, little swim bait here and I'm using the, the uh, medium light uh, piece of serpent rod. It's a great setup for wading creeks. Uh, I'm using 10 pound braid, eight pound fluorocarbon leader. And it's super lightweight to carry around. I love taking one rod and just kind of walking and casting and fishing. Oh, there's a fish. Is that another red breast? I thought they'd hit hard. Oh. Little guy's gonna dig. It's a nice red breast. I'm surprised we haven't got a bass yet, but there's a ton of sunfish in this creek. This creek feeds into a bigger one and a lot of these sunfish come up here and they live, and this water usually stays pretty clear. Oh, feels good. Oh, get me in a log. I don't know if he's still in there or not. Took me into a log and he may be off. Yeah, we came off. Man, I don't even know what that was. There we go. Okay, kept hitting it. I think it's a sunfish or something. Bluegill. Well, I think I might make a quick change. I've been here, I've been about 30, 40 minutes going down the creek and it's my third fish, but they've all been sunfish. I haven't got a single bass to hit, so. And I've seen so many sunfish hitting, so um, I'll make a change and we're gonna try something. Yeah, there we go. Nice, I saw that one. And I caught him on the little tiny lure of all the lures. That's a nice bass. That's what I like finding these little creeks. I saw a few sections where there was a few bass, I think this size, just couldn't get them to hit. That's a fun little creek bass right there. And he just came up and inhaled that little lure. I threw it out there and I thought I saw a bigger one following. I had some little ones hitting at it. Then I tossed it back in and he just bam, hammered it. Good little creek large mouth. All right, I'm switching to a little spinner. There's so many little fish hitting us. I still want to just see what all the species that are in there. And this right here might just hook them up because it's got a little trailer, a uh, little treble hook there. So let's see if we can get some of these little guys in. There's one, there's one. This is a little fish that I've been, these little guys are just so aggressive, hammer everything. Little bitty bluegill. No wonder I'm getting all kinds of little pecks and not getting them in. Just a tiny little bluegill there. These little creeks like this sometimes can just be uh, their nursery for these these little guys. Oh wow, where where did that come from? I was getting pecks from little fish, and this guy just hammered it. All right, stay on there, stay on there. I don't want to. Come on, I don't want to horse him. I think it's a spotted bass. Dude, this is a nice little fish. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, he's hooked good. <laughs> These are the surprises that I love to get. Man, that is awesome. Oh, wow, that's a, 
That's a chunky little, oh, wait a minute, just dropped my fishbowl in the water. That's all right. Oh, he was hooked on the little treble. He just came up and nailed that thing. That's what I'm talking, this is the kind of bass I love to catch out of here. You know, you're going through these small creeks, you don't expect giants, but that, that's like a, that's a chunky little bass out of here. Uh, look at his fins, he's all messed up here. Uh, he's pretty fat. Thick, thick. That's a that's a really nice spotted bass, and I've caught a spotted bass out of here a couple times, but usually largemouth. Man, I'm happy with that. I got the water a little bit murky, but the water's still pretty clear here. Cool. Cool. That's a very good. Oh, another one. Next cast, another bass. I was thinking, ah, I might as well just go on downstream. I'm standing right here, I've, I've muddied up the water. I'm fishing, I'm walking downstream, so I've, I've murkied up the water. But there's a nice deep pool right here, and I think it's allowing these bass to come in here without being spooked. Uh, this is a little largemouth. <laughs> They're hitting it right in front of me. He got the whole thing. That's a nice little large mile. It looks real healthy. Oh, good hit. Oh, <laughs> it's, it's taking it all over. I love how much these little fish can fight. Nice bluegill. Got him on the little treble hook at the back. Oh, got some. What is this? Oh, a little bass. Uh, I got him in the get a little little uh, large mouth. How did he get hooked like that? I just swiped at it. Well, he might not make it. I don't know on this one. Got him in the gill there, but I don't know. These fish sometimes they can survive a lot of stuff. Well, I've been in here right at one hour coming down this stream. I could keep going down a little bit further. It goes down to a bigger creek. But I feel like if I go down there, I'll spend way too much time because I do got something I got to go to uh, here in a little bit. I was just going to take a little time and do this, this uh, fish this creek. And this is this is kind of stuff I love doing. Um, you know, come down an hour, probably spend 30, 45 minutes going back, kind of go a little faster. I'll change up lures, target some bass. I might catch something on the way out. I might not. But uh, I've had a great time. Caught a bunch of little fish, walking through the creek, uh, staying cool on this hot Saturday. Uh, early early part of the day here. So um, this is the kind of stuff I love doing. Hopefully I'll catch a few more fish on the way back out. Uh, we'll guess we'll find out. Oh, spotted bass just came out of nowhere. Ran these other fish off. All right, let's see if uh, let's see if he wants this Helgramite. I think it's a spotted bass. I don't know where he came out of nowhere, it seemed like. Oh, there's a fish, oh, got one, got one. It's not the one I was thinking of. Look at it, look at it. I don't know if you can see him, there's two of them right there. Two beautiful little fish. This I came through this section and um, couldn't get anything. Coming back with a different type of lure, a Helgramite, and I'm approaching from a different angle too, so that, that uh, changes things up. But pretty little spotted bass right there. Yep, yep, spotted bass. I love catching these guys out of the creek. They're so strong. Oh, I see a little bass right in front of me. He's hiding like right on this log. That's crazy what he's doing. He's like, he's like right up under this log, I think. And but I don't know. He's not looking like he's looking to eat anything. What? He's just like hiding up in there. How are you not going for this? Let's see if we can get a. Look at this fish. Oh, we got a little baby, a mama and a little, little bitty baby deer up here. Got a mama and a little bitty baby deer up here. I don't know if I can see it or not. I'm gonna try to zoom this camera in as far as it'll go. Oh, the mama finally saw me. But the little baby's feeding. Good 
It's so hard to hold the steel. It's a really young newborn there. Mama's still looking at me. Let's go ahead and try to get some squirrels while we're at it too. Big red breast. I wasn't expecting it to get that in its mouth. The bass, I, I had a couple bass um, coming up through here right before I saw that deer that were just so, been really picky. They just, they might like barely peck at it or grab the end of it. They're just they're not swallowing the lures or I can't, whatever I've been using today, they just they haven't been really hammering it. Oh, it's a turtle. I can catch it. Gotcha. Come here. Uh, a little turtle there just swimming through. I love wading the creek. It's 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 definitely the most fun for me. You just see so many different things. You I see there's there's so much little fish in here. You know, these little things are just all these little fish come way up in here to live. And a lot of them grow up and eat everything else and you find a you know a nice big one somewhere. But catching little turtles and just seeing all the nature that's that's in here is always uh I always enjoy that. I'm gonna give this fish one more chance. I don't know if there's one fish in here or two fish in here. There's a couple fish. I think I've seen a couple fish, maybe the one that I've almost caught. And then I've seen him like come look at my lure. Ooh, 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 ooh. Got it. No! Why did I set the hook so early? Oh, I was being hasty. I should have known he needs to take a little more. Oh so aggravating when you see these good fish I, I missed that fish coming up through here and then I came back right where I'm taking out here and tried to get it again had a chance but no so in and out in about two hours great time at the creek hope you enjoyed it I loved catching fish seeing the wildlife just seeing different things I did lose a couple good ones or I think the same one twice uh, sometimes they get real picky or they, they know uh, you know just to bite the end of it and to taste it before they they get it so they can be a little tough but this rod right here the setup is perfect for me for doing this kind of creek fishing it's the serpent 68 medium light rod i'm using the pc fun the um carbon x 2000 reel and i got the 10 pound braid and i'm usually going to go with like an eight pound fluorocarbon leader and i can cast little lures i can cast a little bit bigger lures i can target you know i can set the hook on bigger fish and also have fun catching the little fish so I definitely like the setup and, it, and I always like taking one rod and I can just I can walk and cast I like going pretty fast and something simple and light I can cast 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 and it's not gonna wear you out uh, Thanks so much peace fun for letting me be able to do this Be sure and subscribe to the PC fin channel and if you like creek fishing check out my channel creek fishing adventures. I appreciate you watching